Well, when the Sun Devils take the field, they're going to have to deal with the Bruins. Mitchell Agude, the senior linebacker, already has four forced fumbles tied for most in the country. But the fact that Agude is playing at all is what's most remarkable. And what those around him describe with a single word, miracle. I think I had a purpose to do something in this life and do something for my family. That's why I think I woke up from my coma. It's my purpose. Mitchell Agude has such clarity in life because he came so close to death at just nine years old. It's like a normal day. I see some boys going down the skate park with their hat on and everything. So I'm like, okay, they don't need a helmet. I don't need a helmet. At the park, Mitchell fell, slamming the back of his head on a concrete ramp and was rushed to the hospital. With swelling to his brain, he was in a coma when doctors gave his parents the prognosis. He said, your son has a traumatic brain injury. The way he looks, he doesn't look well. He might not recover from this. My fear is that uh, his life is gone. That's what I'm afraid of. The only thing we can do is pray. It was helpless. Being helpless that I could not help my child at that moment. Mother would do anything to save my child. Right now, I can't even save him. And it was very painful that I couldn't be a nurse for my son. Yeah. The doctors was telling their parents that I would have no uh, physical activity. I would be able to move. I will just be a vegetable. I'm just not conscious of anything. The next morning, without explanation, Mitchell suddenly awakened. A few hours later, his breathing tube was removed. His cognitive function was completely intact. The brain stem was normal. Everything was normal as it's supposed to be. They couldn't understand it. Even to today, they couldn't understand what happened with Mitchell. It was a miracle. It's a gift for him from the Lord. Mitchell left the hospital three days later. Doctors recommended no contact sports for three years. After that time, Mitchell's MRI results remained clear, and his mother made a choice about the game he loved. The only thing I could do for my son to bless him is to say, now you are free to do the sports you have loved to do. Because if God has saved you to this day, there has to be a purpose in your life in that football. For Mitchell, playing in the Rose Bowl for UCLA became the dream. But his purpose took shape on mission trips to his parents' homeland. The turning point was when I went to Nigeria. My mom, uh, she does medical missions every year, bringing all this medicine and seeing all, all my cousins and all of my family members, like they're grasping for any type of resource, any type of opportunity. I feel like that it's on us to take care of them. My mom was telling me he had a conversation with him saying, what do you want to do besides football? And he was saying to help everybody back at home. It's just something really beautiful to see. Half a world away from Nigeria, half a lifetime after his coma. We working, boy. We working. We ain't done yet, though. Now, Mitchell Agude is a force in Bruin Blue. Rip down. Take a seat. Living in path, in passion, yes, sir. and in purpose. There's no way I could be in this position without God. He brought me back just so I can take care of my family. That's my why. 
if I can live my dream, I know for sure that my family can live their dreams too. I'm living a dream by, by living. He was meant for purpose and he was meant to be a great man. He's a miracle child. Mitchell's mother, Grace, was an ICU nurse at the time of the accident. She's still a practicing nurse now and believes to this day there is no medical explanation for his recovery. She credits the family's faith. As for Mitchell, when he enters the Rose Bowl, sometimes he does so with tears in his eyes. He's so overcome with one emotion, gratitude, for the chance to play the game he loves for his team and the chance to make a difference for his family here and back in Africa. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoy that clip, make sure you click subscribe somewhere down here. From game highlights to exclusive interviews and rankings, we've got everything you need as a college football fan right here, College Football on Fox.